Holy crud, it only took me five years and multiple CM Punk brawls, but I finally did it. I finally made an AEW video. Everyone, please, a round of applause. I am beating the e-drone allegations. Let's go. But enough of that. We now gotta talk about the important matter at hand, which is that Roderick Strong is a cuck. There is literally no way around it, even though cuck is a term usually referring to married men, and I assume these two are not in a secret marriage with each other, Roderick Strong has somehow found a way to get cucked as if he was Miro in WWE. And in the process, he has turned himself from really cool wrestler to saddest man in wrestling since bum-ass Baron Corbin. I guess considering that and the fact that he has a neck brace, which means his neck is ass, you know, I guess we could call him Roderick Weak now. <laughs> but it wasn't always like this for Roddy. When he was in NXT, he used to be close friends with Adam Cole alongside Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish in the stable known as the Undisputed Era. In fact, it was Cole, Fish, and O'Reilly who recruited Strong into the UE, which they had been trying to do for a while until TakeOver New Orleans when Strong finally decided, all right, y'all a chill, let's do this. And from 2018 to 2021, the black and gold brand was dominated by Los Cuatro Amigos. During which, when Roderick had that fear of Dexter Loomis and Trunks, his friends were there to help him get through it, help him get over it, and help him conquer his fear. Everything was all nice and peaches and penis, but unfortunately, it did not last forever. As Adam Cole would turn on the Undisputed Era and then go to AEW, and then Kyle O'Reilly would follow suit, and Bobby Fish was already there. Which left Roderick still in NXT in more ways than one, all by himself. But look, it's fine. He doesn't need them. He would go on to form his own group, the Diamond Mine, that started turning against him, and then he got injured and was left in a wheelchair and a neck brace. Ooh. But hey, he still won the Cruiserweight Championship, which doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, no, let's go to AEW. On April 26, 2023, Roderick Strong would shock the world, no, not like that, by debuting in AEW to help Adam Cole against the Jericho Appreciation Society. Roddy and Cole were reunited once again, but this time, it was gonna be a little different. You see, Bobby Fish left AEW to go looking for the lie, and Kyle O'Reilly has been out with a neck injury since 2022, so now Roderick Strong had Adam Cole all to himself. And it was supposed to be the start of something great. They were going to dominate the tag division. They were going to be an unstoppable duo. They were going to be the next AEW tag champs, next Ring of Honor tag champs. They were going to be on top of the mountain together. Everything was there. It was going to be great. But then, in a shocking turn of events, Adam Cole, due to a blind eliminator tag tournament, would end up with Maxwell Jacob Friedman as his partner. And somehow, even though MJF is kind of a dick and he and Adam Cole already had a rivalry going on, they would start to genuinely get along. And as the tournament progressed, they would only become closer and closer friends with activities such as surprise birthday parties, assaulting children, and even playing video games. Yep, Adam Cole did the unthinkable. He got MJF to touch a video game as if he was a virgin again. And gosh diddly darn, it was the greatest duo that nobody knew they wanted and everyone loved seeing them together. Well, everyone except for one man who has the same first name as the older brother in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Roderick Strong did not like that Adam Cole and MJF were friends now. Dare I say, he hated it. And instead of doing what real men would do, which is tell themselves it is what it is until they don't care anymore, Roderick Strong would go out there and vocally express his displeasure in front of thousands of people. And it is sad to watch, but not like the Shawn Michaels retiring Ric Flair kind of sad, more like the oh my god this is a pathetic human being kind of sad. When Cole and Friedman announced they would be going after the Ring of Honor tag titles at All In, Roderick Strong came out and he was like, Adam Cole Senpai, why you no pick me? Konnichiwa Gomenasai! But MJF won Han Nun his jealousy arc, so he decided to verbally destroy him on the mic, calling him a simp and telling him to go home and cry into his Hello Kitty pillow among other things, and finally calling him a bland bitch. Despite the public humiliation, Roderick Strong would not be discouraged. Backstage on the Dynamite Before All In, Roderick Strong would say that they were gonna find out who the real MJF is or who the real Adam Cole is. Like, my brother in Christ, we've been seeing the real them for the past few weeks. Like, they assaulted children on television. That's as real as it gets. And I'd also argue that this entire time, we've been seeing the real you as well.
which is a cuck. And that would be proven even further as we enter the worst country in the world for Wembley's big wrestling show. In the main event of this show, the Bebe himself takes on his buddy whose name is not Matthews for the AEW Championship. The match itself, oh my god, it was so fucking good. It was up there with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus the Usos for art and cinema and all that shit. And saying that made me realize that WWE and AEW's biggest pay-per-views this year were in California and the UK respectively. I do not like that. As the match entered its closing moments and the referee was dead, Roderick Strong came out to help Adam Cole by kicking MJF in the cock. And when that didn't work, Unrowdy Roddy handed Adam Cole the 3 B so he could hit MJF with it while the referee was still dead, shouting at him to do it! I'm your best friend! Why won't you love me? And Adam Cole was genuinely considering it, and I don't blame him one bit. You know, the chance to win the AEW Championship in AEW's biggest event, I would do the same thing, and anything goes when the referee is still fucking dead. But in the end, Adam Cole decided the friendship he developed with MJF was more important than cheating to win a championship so he threw the belt out of the ring and told Roddy to scram because he's a scrambled egg with egg on his scrambled face. A very noble decision by Adam Cole though it would end up costly as MJF would roll him up for the 1-2-3 and retain the championship. After the match Adam Cole went wham wham baby mode and it made MJF all angry so he handed him the belt and turned his back so that Adam Cole could strike him in the back with that belt and officially end their friendship. And look who's back, Roderick Strong is back on the ropes begging Adam Cole metaphorically on his hands and knees, not literally, for him to hit MJF with the triple B and end their friendship, making them buddies once again. But for the second time that night, his wishes would be denied, as Adam Cole would drop the belt and hug it out with MJF, achieving the good end where the two were still buddies after the match. And that was the moment Roderick Strong became Cuckenberg. Embarrassing way to get cucked. In the main event of the biggest wrestling show AEW has ever had. If it was me in his shoes, I would just crawl into a hole and never come out. I mean, I have Dota 2 and VTubers. That's all I need to survive. But unlike me, Roderick Strong doesn't have his entire day ruined by a single tweet, so instead of doing what I did, he went back on television for the next Dynamite where things got interesting. Bebe is in the ring. He's talking about how awesome it was to have that match and to be in the main event and how cool it was. And then Cuckrick Strong comes out and cucks his way into the ring to talk about how mean and stinky Adam Cole is for choosing MJF over him and how he feels betrayed. So far, nothing unusual, just the sad bland bitch behavior that we've come to expect from him. Here's where it gets interesting. You see, AEW is having a Grand Slam tournament where the winner will face the fried man for the AEW championship at Grand Slam, hence the name Grand Slam tournament. And one of the people in that tournament is none other than the cuck man himself, Roderick Strong, as as he announced in the ring with Adam Cole. Yes sir, and he's doing it while not at 100%. Notice the neck brace, he still has that and he don't care. Orange Cassidy's been defending the international championship on half a heart for a while now. Roddy Boy can do it. Oh no, so since I kinda didn't finish this on schedule, now now Orange Cassidy he's kinda, he's kinda no longer that, that champion, that international champion. Now poisonously, I'm very fascinated in where this is going and here's why. Let's say, hypothetically, Roderick Strong wins the entire tournament tournament and earns a title match against MJF at Grand Slam. Now let's say, hypothetically, Roderick Strong beats MJF and becomes the new AEW champion. You know what that would mean, right? Y you know what that would mean? It would mean if Roderick Strong wins the tournament and the title, he will become a man who was cucked into becoming a champion. And I think that's frilling hilarious, the idea that Adam Cole cucked someone so badly that they went and won the top title title in AEW and beat one of the four pillars of AEW simply out of spite because Adam chose that pillar over him is just really silly. And as of recording this video, we live in a society where there is a non-zero chance of that very scenario happening on September 20th, 2023. Just because of the absurdity of 
being cucked into championship glory, there is a part of me that actually wants this to happen. And also, I assume it would lead to a match between Adam Cole and Roderick Strong at, I assume, full gear, which I assume would be a really good match. Oh, and in case some dumbass tries to tell me that Rusev was cucked into championship glory by Aiden English, um, yeah, it is true that he won the US title shortly after finding out about that one night in Milwaukee, but said one night in Milwaukee had nothing to do with him winning the belt. Plus, the future Redeemer was already chasing the title before English even turned on him, so like, I don't get your point at all. My point is that Rusev won the US title, but not because of Aiden English. Roderick Strong, on the other hand, would win the AEW title solely because of Adam Cole, which would mean Roderick Strong one-upped Rusev, now named Miro, in cuckery, and that would certainly make him an AEW Hall of Famer. So yeah, that's about it. Again, real shocking. I made an AEW video after making like a ton of WWE videos. I don't only watch one promotion. What a novel concept. And lastly, I apologize to my wrestling subscribers for switching to hockey videos for a bit there. I promise it will happen again because I like making them and they got a lot of views. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go!